Uh, good afternoon, Tom Baker is my name from Eurogen AI Services. Um, I'm just uh, going to give you a quick preview of uh, a couple of polls for the, uh, the West Midlands uh, Frisian Breeders Club. Um, just want to say, um, of course, uh, at this stage, hopefully all of you will have uh, catalogs received in the post. We launched our new spring, uh, spring catalog there in uh, early or around mid February post based on the January proof run and uh, it's been very well received. We also had uh, two other catalogs. We have produced a separate color breeds catalog and also our Flexi catalog. And of course, um, we actually also had a, um, a beef catalog. So lots of choice out there for everybody. Uh, the good news falling on from the January run, I suppose, really was that the, our bull there, VH Praiser, became the number one daughter proven bull, and he came up with an EBI, you know, close to 300 EBI and um, 40 kgs of solids, double digit fat and protein, and, you know, really was, is uh, looking like a very super bull. Um, he's already sold out for sixth, unfortunately. We got, you know, 2,000 doses, and they're sold out. And uh, he's selling like hot buns, as the saying goes. So, you need to book him, I'd say, in the next week if you were interested in getting straws at Praiser. Um, Eurogen uh, have in the last few years, of course, become synonymous with providing some of our best bulls uh, in sex. And, uh, you know, right, our number one EBI bull there, uh, Kilwalsh Wonder, right down there. You can see there, we, I think there's 15 bulls there on this list, and um, they're all available sex. Or where anyway, and the average EBI there for that team is 274 EBI, 103 for milk, uh, 109 fertility, 14 for health, and they a combined kgs of solids of uh, fat and protein, 32 kgs. So a really decent team, and uh, thankfully they have quite a few of the bull sex. I think there's maybe one or two of them sold out now at this stage. There we are again, and just again shows that our, our uh, Seven out of our top 10 bulls are actually available six at the minute. Okay. So what I've done here, I've just picked out just uh, one or two bulls in each category for you. Um, on EBI, I, and um, I just, uh, first bull I selected here is a uh, Mystic. You know, he's a real top EBI bull, but our offering an awful lot more than just EBI. He's, you know, he's up there for 290 EBI. You can see there he's over 100 for milk sub index and also he's almost 130 on fertility. Also very good on health, plus 15. He's the son of the uh, the proven bull Shamrock Mystic and um, out of a really super cow family. Uh, actually bred above in County Loud and the Grand Dam is, is actually classified excellent. That's the bull himself. He was photographed, the bull is over in Cogent and obviously he's available sex, as bull, uh, both sex and conventional. And um, yeah, looking at Midari figures, you know, very impressive. He's 34 kgs of solids, you know, good milk heading for 300 kgs of milk as well, and, and also very high end components. So a nice all round bull, you know, and also he's positive for others. He's well over one for others, and plus uh, one for type and feet and legs. So a very balanced bull. The second bull I've picked out is um, a bull called Old Castletown Phoenix, a bull that I, I like myself per personally. Um, I just, I really like the cow. Again, um, he was 277 in the January run there. He's actually improved. He's now, I think he's 288 on, on the latest run. And again, he's improved all around. His fertility has gone up. Um, again, coming from an exceptional cow family, I suppose you can see there the dam and grand dam are, are actually the both BG. Um, I could see the grand or the dam actually going excellent. Um, maybe not in, in this lactation, certainly her next lactation. Both of them are 4% potent cows and the dam's done 8,000 liters. Um, she's actually a, a McCormick daughter, and the grand dam is Keith. And you can see where the good others are coming in there. He's, his bull is plus arms 160 for all composite. Um, again, also full pedigree and very good in feet and legs. Um, that actually is the dam there photographed her just with my phone. It's not a great photograph, just in her working clothes, but you can see she's a fabulous cow, you know, really good bag. She still has great ligament, great feet and legs under her, real good wedge of a heel. and. Uh, perfect room structure and, and a nice bodied cow. So definitely has the potential to go excellent. Um, there is a Phoenix there, he's got 37 kgs of solid. You know, he's not a massive milk bull, but probably would suit a lot of spring calvers. You know, again, he's over, he has improved a little bit now, but he's kind of a 120, 130 kg milk bull, but you know, tremendous components and that's running right through the family. The um, 
selected bull there for, for me, sub-index actually is the bull praiser who's data proven, uh, getting great reports on these daughters, uh, talking a lot of lads, lads now milking them. They have uh, bags of milk, tubs of milk, and um, you can see there he's got uh, 123 for me, sub-index, which is very impressive, and also over 100 for fertility. And when you add in, you know, high health, almost 20 for health, and just about everything else, he re well, it really ticks all the boxes. You can see why he's, you know, he's really selling in big numbers at the minute. Again, that, that's him there, you know, 40 kgs of solids, almost 400 kgs of milk, and double-digit fat and protein, and daughter proven. On fertility, uh, I selected uh, Kill Walsh Wonder as our top EBI bull there. And um, this is coming from a, you know, really good family. The dam there's calves on the button every time. She's a fifth calver now. And, um, you know, lovely cow. Again, there's another photograph of the dam again there from the front view. Uh, lovely head on her. And, uh, you know, he's a bull, I suppose, bringing more moderate milk um, with very high components. Also very much an outcross, and also uh, he's predicted easy calving by, by ICBF. Um, the second bull in this might suit a lot of guys who are looking for a more Frisian type of, of an animal is Kildara Major. Um, this is the dam of uh, Major and also of course the dam of Maestro and she's a very nice cow. She's a, an excellent daughter. She's now in her 11th lactation. She's working away in a 250 cow herd down in uh, South Abandon. And, uh, you know, it's a very much a commercial farm and uh, she just walks away at her ease every year on year, gets on with it. Again, bull that's, you know, offering high, high components, more medium milk. And actually his EBI has gone up there. His EBI has gone to 283 in the latest run. He was, I think, 277 there. So, yeah. Just on components, I picked a, a bull, a, a properly named bull called uh, Ballinard Components is our highest bull. He's number one for both fat and protein percent. And, Again, tremendous family behind this bull. But, uh, you know, you look there to see what his, um, his EBI has remained very stable. He's exactly the same as he was. And he's over 100 for milk sub-index on, on milk and also uh, well over for fertility. Again, positive on health, double digit on health. But uh, the family is a tremendous family, as I said, behind this. Um, that is actually a photograph of the bull himself there on the uh, left-hand side. He's now standing, he's over in Cogent. And again, he's a real nice Frisian, but he's he's actually really he's really is a, a Frisian, I suppose. In, in you know, but he's he's a jersey, I should say, in Frisian clothing is what he is. You know that um, the kind of solids this bull is is, is predicted is, is the same as what a jersey would be predicted. You know, 0 0.51 fat and almost 0 0.3 for protein percent. And uh, this is the family behind components. Uh, the dam there, um, you can just see there in her second lactation. You know, she got 574 fat, 442 protein. So you're talking there in excess of 10% solids, which would, you know, put any jersey to shame. The Grand Dam is well over 9% solids there, and the Tor Dam even right through. You know, again, you're talking about 470 fat and 4% and protein. So um, bull is full pedigree again, and uh, you know, definitely if somebody wants the, an exceptional bull, a real uh, an outcross, an outlier to that is starting extreme components. You know, this bull. Balnard components is the bull to do that. So the last bull I selected here in, in the EBI category is a bull, an older bull called uh, Black Lightning. Um, very popular a few years ago, but actually seen great daughters around the place. They're now second, third lactation, and um, there's a group I'm taking them the next gen herd there in Moor Park, and um, there's a couple of more of them here. Just the lady on the left is actually on the front of the catalogue. She's behind Mallow, and the, the, one, the one on the right is actually a daughter photographed above in the Park Dove herd, Kevin Downings. But uh, you look here at the bottom, uh, what is um, what they're actually delivering on the ground. You know, he's now got over 1,500 daughters, and he's proven 500 herds, you could say. Second lactation, doing over 6,000 litres there, uh, exactly doing uh, just over 500 kgs of solids, 458 fat, and 374 protein. So that's nothing to be, uh, to be sniffed at. Um, for heifers, easy calving category, I just really not going through any bulls. I need to say, look, yeah, the bulls I like there, if you're looking after high production, I suppose Chairman Ramsey would be two bulls there that would be, you know, imported bulls. Chairman is American, 500 kgs of, uh, of milk. Ramsey is not quite as much milk, but I see lovely calves run off of him. He's a, he's a, a Viking bull. Um, but again, he's got reasonable, real respectable milk, 350 kgs of milk, and he's positive for, for protein percent and so forth. 
but uh, plenty of options there. Cyclone, Olympus, all good bulls, and even Absolute is, is daughter proven at this stage. Is very nice, uh, leaving nice daughters on the ground. Uh, the one imported bull I might just mention there is another Viking bull called VH Nader. Um, he is a very balanced all round bull. He's number one now, he's been number one all, for over six months in Scandinavia. Uh, lovely black bull and very balanced for everything really. He's positive for all the health traits, very positive for components, milk, and, and obviously all the type traits. Um, he was a 252 EBI and uh, he actually now has gone up to, uh, I think he's gone to 268 EBI. Uh, milk sub index there was 98 for both milk and fertility. He's gone to 102 for milk sub index and he's gone to 110 for fertility. And he's just made gains all around. And uh, I suppose reflecting, you know, he, he's, he's a country of origin proof. He's very strong. Um, as I say, he's the number one NTM bull in Scandinavia. And he's also available sixth. Just finish up by saying we have quite a few bulls there, um, you know, designated as being suitable for robots, the likes of Nader and so forth. Um, you know, in Scandinavia, I think 46, 47% of all cows are, are actually milked through robots. So we have uh, we have put in a whole list of symbols on our new catalog to try and make things easy to help you identify and select certain bulls that might suit your system. Um, so that's it. Uh, hopefully uh, this video has been uh, uh, helpful to you and uh, we look forward to uh, meeting up again, hopefully. I'm not sure if this shows plowing. I don't think uh, realistically probably won't happen, I, I feel. But look, sometime in the future, I've no doubt we'll meet up again. And uh, thanks for listening. Okay.